Good morning. This is Jeff with Frontline Animal Removal, and we're going to talk a little mole trapping. Uh, this is a a residence that I trap almost every year, and it's almost strictly all star nose moles. And this is just a great example of the kind of area star star nose moles like to live in. It's very wet. You can see it's a creek that leads into a large marshland area. And if you look real close, you'll see where the star noses, they come out of the creek. They're, a, they're an aquatic mole. They hunt under the water and they like areas that are really, really wet. And you'll just start seeing where the, the moles are tunneling and you can almost follow their tunnel where they're kind of moving the dirt out of their tunnel. And we're just going to follow, follow right along the creek edge. And it just keeps going. And this is a uh, this is a a yard that I think I've already pulled seven or eight star nose out of, and it had died down for about a month or two months, and new ones come in and just reopen the tunnel. And this this tunnel will run all the way up. You can see all the fresh dirt popping up. And then right about in here, it dives right back down into the creek. Good morning. This is Jeff with Frontline Animal. We're back out at that property that I set up two days ago. Uh, the mole trail that was following the uh, the edge of this small ditch. Um, and you can kind of walk along the trail and you can see the flags indicate where my traps are located. And we're just going to follow this whole trail up. There's another set of traps. And then we just keep going a little ways. And you'll see the, the last set of traps. And this is the tunnel that actually goes down into that ditch. Uh, we'll talk real briefly about the trap I use. I use the uh, Trapline Products Trap Mole Trap uh, made by Steve Albano out of California. It's a, a one directional trap so so wherever you set it you've got to set two traps to cover each direction. This was this is a, a heavily used mole tunnel um, so that's kind of why I set it up a little heavier. Usually I would set a, a pair at the beginning of the trail instead of traps at the end of the trail but uh, this one's got a, a six traps total so we're gonna I'm gonna try to open this this up and let you get a glimpse into here and and uh, we'll see if you can actually see what I'm doing um, it doesn't look like there's any fresh tunneling so I, I wouldn't be surprised if there are a couple of moles in here so here's the first the first set we're going to just pull this back. And right away I can tell, if you can see down in there, it's hard to tell that nothing has punched through. When I put a trap in there, I plug it with a piece of dirt. And it kind of lets me know, A, if it's, something's gotten past one of the traps and it's tunneled through. And neither one of these have been tunneled around. So let's, uh, let's open this up. And that one is good. So we're gonna put that back. And that one is good. So then we're gonna move down here. Down to the second one. This one hasn't been tunneled through either. That one's good. And this one looks, that one looks messed up. So we're gonna, I can tell right away. Oh, and there he is. So that is a, that is a star-nosed mole. Uh, you can tell 
by the front of his nose and the long tail. Your normal eastern mole has a much shorter tail. These are these are the aquatic moles I was talking about. So this guy actually was coming was coming this way and we got him. So nothing has gotten past this. So I'm gonna see if we can't get a glimpse in here. And that is that is the tunnel. And it's just the tunnel is directly underneath all those fresh clumps of grass, fresh clumps of mud. So that's one star nosed mole. And then let's go up here. Now let's see what we can find at the beginning of this tunnel. Here we are back at that third set of traps that I was going to check and I think you can see him down in there. Um, lighting is pretty tough in these tunnels but that is a star nose mole, another star nose mole that was coming off the main trail and shooting down into the ditch. So let me see if I can't pull him out of there. And there he is. So that's two, two little, two moles off this tunnel which is about average. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure there's another mole or two in here. So that's the tunnel. There's a trap on this side, and we're going to reset the trap on this side. Alrighty. Thank you very much.